Hello guys, uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I apologize for my uh, long absence from YouTube. So my Leila Dark plans for this year is almost confirmed, and I'll be starting my journey to Leh from Delhi on 13th of July. Before that, I'll be needing some uh, equipments to carry with me to Leh. The foremost thing that I'll need uh, is a USB charger. And when I was searching online for a suitable USB charger, I couldn't believe the prices. And the best charger out there in the market was Bolt and it costed almost more than 1000 rupees. It's and being an engineer myself, I don't want to spend uh, 1000 rupees on a USB charger. And I thought I could do one myself. Why not? All you need for that is this thing, this small LM2596. This is, it's actually LM2596, it's a voltage regulator IC and it's very useful to convert 12 volt from your bike battery to 5 volt which is more than enough to charge your uh, mobile phones and other electronic gadgets and the other thing that you'll need is this uh, female USB port uh, from which you'll be connecting your uh, mobile charger you also need this small plastic box that you can get uh, it just costed me like 6 rupees and you also need a pair of alligator clips a black one and a red one in case you don't mix up the wires when connecting into your bike batteries so this is the LM2596 module that I got of eBay for around 150 rupees so these two are the input terminals where uh, you'll be connecting the bikes positive and the negative terminals accordingly and this is a variable capacitor and as you t tune the variable capacitor you get a variable voltage across these two output terminals so tune this capacitor and uh, keep measuring the output voltage across these two terminals using a multimeter and as soon as you get 5 volt or around 4.9 to 5.1 volt just stop varying this capacitor and that's the position you want for getting 5 volt across these two terminals when 12 volt is given across these two input terminals so the next thing is the female USB port you can get it from any electronic shops near your home for a uh, 5 rupees and the most important thing about this uh, USB port is that you have to connect the positive and negative properly or else uh, there is a high chance that you damage your uh, gadgets permanently you could just remember like a graph and this plastic bar is the XY and on the right side is the positive and the left side is the negative okay so, so this is the basic structure so these two alligator clips gets connected to the bike's battery terminals and from this alligator clips you are getting the input towards to this uh, LM2596 board and from here the output positive and the negative will be connected to the USBs positive and negative that's it very simple design a minimalist design and this uh, LM2596 board and the USB port will be going inside this plastic box uh, it, it's all up to your imagination and uh, for me this setup works fine so this is how the entire setup has been done the two alligator clips has been wired and so the two wires from the alligator clips are soldered to the input terminals of L LM2596 and the output of LM2596 is taken out and given to the USB so This is the entire size, so this is it. I can just carry it in my hands, and it's too small. So, this is how I have wired the connection. So it's 5 volt and now I will go ahead and start the bike.
so that's it guys uh, this is how you do it and if you're really uh, looking for a cost effective solution for bike usb charges go ahead and start building things and breaking things happy engineering cheers see you in the next video